I think we can all agree, when we reach the weekend, we want to get as far away as possible from stressful work and bad news. Two days a week, we want to set aside our time to think only happy thoughts and get the rest we need to stay healthy, both in body and mind. And findings from a research team at the University of Kentucky showed that this is the right way to go. Positive people end up with stronger immune systems. To help boost this kind of positive thinking, let me share a news headline with you guys. Researchers at NYU find that marrying a shorter man helps you stay married longer. Yes! There's a silver lining to everything, I'm telling you guys! What up everyone? The first song we listened to together on Saturday, September 13th was Little L by Jamiroquai. On Saturdays, we go on a sweet email date, you and I with You've Got Mail, and Aaron's Picture Diary. In the second hour, we'll find out what all of our pop stars are up to with David on Weekly Pop Magazine. And here's a quick reminder for our Sunday Corner. We have a chance to read your messages that we didn't have time to get to during the week with You and Me Song, as well as Message Time and Just Ask Aaron right now. So you guys have to participate and send in your thoughts for me to be able to read them during those segments. And here's how you guys can listen to MA. You can, of course, download the editing application on your smartphones or listen on your computers at www.edidangradio.com slash music access. You can also listen to us through Terrestrial DMB or if you are on Jeju Island through these FM stations. Jeju is 88.7, Sogipo is 88.1, and Taejong is 101.9. You can also download TuneIn through Google Play or the App Store. If you want to share your thoughts as well, just click www.arirangradio.com slash musicaccess and leave us a message on our MA message board. Alright, let's listen to two songs before we come back with You've Got Mail. Here are Walks Like Rihanna by The Wanted and California King Bed by Rihanna. Instead of saying sorry, instead of saying I miss you, instead of saying I love you, you've got mail. You've Got Mail is for our MA family to write about something special that happened to them during the week and writing it like a real letter. If it was something that happened with your family, it could be a letter written to your family member, or if it was an incident with a friend, you could write the letter to your friend as well. If you're really shy, you don't have to put your name on it and we'll keep it anonymous. So if you want to send out a heartfelt message, you can email us at musicaccess at arirang.co.kr and I'll deliver it for you on air every Saturday at this time. Alright, let's check out our first email for the day. We have Aaron Johnson from the States and Aaron Johnson wrote, Hello Aaron, I live in the city of Cannonsburg, Pennsylvania. There are a lot of little stores in town, a couple of banks, a few dollar stores, a pavilion of fast food restaurants, and a grocery store all within walking distance of 15 to 45 minutes. During summer and holidays, there are a lot of festivals and great things to do. Each holiday, holiday, there is something special going on from fireworks to parades. In September, we hold the Oktoberfest celebration. The food is great, the music is wonderful, and everyone is nice. I would really love to see you guys come and hang out at the festival one year. I would also love to see a New East concert in Pennsylvania someday. That would be the coolest event ever. 사랑해 from Rose. What up, Aaron Johnson from the States? Yes, you're from Pennsylvania. I've never been to Pennsylvania, but I would love to go. Uh, but yes, everything you see in your town is like walking distance, 15, 45 minutes. Not bad, not bad. And yes, we would definitely love to perform in Pennsylvania, Aaron. You never know what might happen, so look forward to it. And thank you for tuning in, and please tune in for the rest of our show. Alrighty, guys, two more songs before we move on. 
Mandy from Taiwan requested Chandelier by Sia. And Mikalina requested Lost Stars by Adam Levine. What up, everyone? We just came back from listening to Chandelier by Sia and Lost Stars by Adam Levine. And I'm Aaron of New East. It's time for your emails with You've Got Mail here in the first hour of our Saturday show. Well, it's time for Aaron's Picture Diary. This is for us to think back on this week and remember the memorable moments here at Music Access and try to draw it into a picture. Well, guys, I finished my picture diary for today, so why don't we take a look? This is Aaron's Picture Diary. Yes, so this week I drew my picture on, as most of you guys know, the Korean holiday that just passed this week, Chuseok. So on the left, I drew like a lot of good foods that I ate over Chuseok. Like, I don't know, I didn't eat traditional Korean food, guys. I ate like pizza and ice cream and chicken. I don't, it's just me, whatever. Uh, bad photo, but yes, on the right, it's me sleeping and it says catch up on some much needed sleep. Yes, I was pretty tired during Chuseok, I slept a lot. And on the bottom, I drew like a family and everyone's smiling. And you know, like, Chuseok is a good time for family to bond. So I wrote family time, fun time. And on the bottom left, I just drew a picture of me and my friends hanging out during Chuseok. I hope you guys like the picture on Saturday, September 13th from Aaron. Alrighty guys, so what I drew my picture on was Chuseok, which just passed uh, earlier this week. And you know, everyone rested because it is Korea's biggest holiday. And you know, um, all my members went home actually to rest. I unfortunately could not go home because we only had two days to rest and LA is too far. But I had a good time nonetheless. You know, um, I had a lot of good foods like pizza, ice cream, chicken, like kogi, meat. Like, Korean barbecue was really good. And I also got to sleep a lot. You know, I slept a lot over Chuseok, you know. Just rested up. And, you know, I also met with some friends from overseas. You know, um, like, shout out to my LA friends. I hung out with uh, Rome. You know, it was really fun. So, we had a good time over Chuseok. And, you know, like, I always felt like Chuseok was a very lonely time for me. But this year, I got to hang, I got to hang out with a lot of people. So, it was actually very fun and interesting. Yes, guys, I'll be putting up my drawing on our photo gallery after the show, so please check it out and leave me some comments. Alright, let's listen to a song before we come back with more. You've got mail. Harge from the UK requested Delicious by Two Heart, and Aid from Mexico, Mexico requested Domino by Four Minute. What up, guys? I'm Aaron of New East. You're listening to Music Access, and it's time for your emails with... You've got mail here in the first hour of our Saturday show. Next, we have Wendy Torres, and Wendy wrote, Opa, I hate school. It's too much work. I know I sound whiny, but I have not been getting enough sleep every day. I've been going to bed at like 1 or 2 a.m. I have so many tasks, and I can't wait until I finish high school. I'm so tired, and I wish I could just finish everything. But on the other hand, I get to see my friends every day, and I bought a new camera. And I found out my sister found a boyfriend before me. I know I should be happy for her, but I'm kind of sad. She's younger than me and she has a boyfriend. My parents don't know, though I don't plan to tell them. Opa, please wish me luck. I don't know what to tell my sister when she asks me for love advice because the only love experience I have is from Korean dramas. New East, fighting. What up, Wendy Torres from the States? Yes, I know high school can be tough, but... You know, high school, it's going to be, you know, a lasting memory, like, you know, forever. So, you know, make the most out of your time in high school, Wendy. You know, I, I have great high school memories. Those are actually, like, probably my best memories so far. So, you know, um, you know, high school is really fun, so enjoy it. And, yes, your sister found a boyfriend before you, and you're kind of like, uh, when she asks, asks you about, about advice. You know what? Tell her, to, tell her to go on the internet and find advice herself. Uh, but, yes, Wendy, you know, like, 
I I wouldn't suggest using uh, experience from K like K dramas, Korean dramas to help your sister because dramas are like it's like acting and stuff. And I don't know if those situations would apply to your sister's situation. So yes, Wendy Torres, thank you for the message. I hope you find a boyfriend soon. Fighting to you, and thank you for tuning in. All right, two more songs before we move on. Mildred from Mexico, Mexico requested Good Luck by Beast. And Nicole for Chile requested Crush by 21. What up, everyone? A place to confide your thoughts, hopes, and dreams. It's time for your emails with You've Got Mail here in the first hour of our Saturday show. Next, we have Denise King from the States. And Denise King wrote, Hi, Erno Bam. I really love you in New East, and I try to listen to MA as much as possible, but sometimes I am unable to because of school. I also watched you on ASC After School Club. I really love the music New East comes out with, and I've been a fan since you guys debuted. I love you so much. What up, Denise King from the States? Yes, I'm glad you're a fan of New East, and I'm glad you love listening to our songs. And, you know, definitely, I know you can be busy with school and stuff, but whenever you can, try to tune in to MA, leave us your messages on our message board, have fun with us, and yes, please keep supporting New East Denise, we're going to keep coming out with good music, hopefully good music, but yes Denise, I hope you have a good day, thank you for tuning in, and please tune in for the rest of our show. Alrighty guys, thank you so much as always for sharing your thoughts with us on You've Got Mail, I always love hearing from you guys and finding out about what's going on in your lives. You've Got Mail comes every Saturday, so if you wanted to participate this week, but couldn't, do not worry. You can always send your emails to musicaccess at arirang.co.kr, and it could be an email for me, but it could also be a letter for someone else, a friend, family member, teacher crush, that you've been wanting to talk to, but didn't have the courage to do so, I will pass the message along for you. And look forward to Aaron's picture diary next week as well. Alright, let's listen to two songs before we move on. Giovanna, Giovanna from the US requested Shower by Becky G. And Marielle from Norway requested Baby Eye by Isaac Elliott. What up guys, we just came back from listening to Shower by Becky G. And Baby Eye by Isaac Elliott. And guess what? It is already time for us to wrap things up in the first hour. After a short break, we'll have Weekly Pop Magazine with Davis that don't go away. Eunice from Mexico requested Oi 2014 by Santana featuring Pitbull. And I'll see you guys in just a bit. What up everyone? You're listening to Music Access with me, Aaron of New East. Our first song starting off the second hour of the show for Saturday, September 13th, was... Sweater Weather by The Neighborhood. Sweater Weather. All right. Here's how you guys can listen to us. You can download the Arirang application on your smartphones or listen on your computers at www.arirangradio.com slash music access. We are also on Terrestrial DMB or if you are on Jeju Island through these FM stations. Jeju is 88.7. Sogipo is 88.1. And Taejong is 101.9. You can also download TuneIn through Google Play or the App Store. Alright, before we get to Weekly Pop Magazine with David, let's listen to a song. Here is Ghost by Ella Henderson. If you tap slightly, talk, the latest entertainment news and gossip, pops, always fun, full of curiosity and songs, we have everything here with David, the guy who labors away all week for you guys for Weekly Pop Magazine. Wow! Hello, David. What's up, what's up? Welcome back to the studio. 
It's good to be back. And can you say hello to our MA listeners? MA listeners out there, I hope you guys are having a good, good time. The weather is beautiful here. It is. It's absolutely it is. lovely. There's a cool wind. Fall is here. Yes, fall is here. I feel like the weather is good because it's like the sun is still out, but mm-hmm, it's breezy. Mm-hmm. That's right. That's so, right. So, you know, the weather's been good this week. It's not too cold. You can sleep with the windows open. That's the kind of weather I love yes. when you can just leave them open. And then, like, two months later, winter starts. Uh-huh. No. Yes. No, why winter? Why? But, yes, David, it's been a week since we've last seen each other. How have you been? I have been fantastic. How's your, how's the married life going? It is good. You know what's fun? Cooking together. Oh. Cooking together is great. We've had some good meals. And I've been busy, though, kind of, like, going to, like, see her family members, oh. like, spending time with her dad before he goes back to the States. Right, and right, And then right. my parents before they go back to New Zealand. Busy, busy, busy. Right, because... Uh, actually, like, earlier this week, it was Chuseok. Yeah, that's, like, intense. You have to go see all the families, and we had to put on the hanbok, yeah. the Korean traditional clothes. We have to buy that. It's mad expensive. Really? Yeah, it's pretty expensive. <sighs> Man, Man, I thought, like, it'd be cheaper than a nice suit, but it's equivalent to a really, really nice suit. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty expensive, actually, mm. but... Yeah, well, what'd you do over Chuseok? Just, you know, like, go see family. Yeah, eat, eat, and eat. Like, first we started off with my family in the morning. We ate a lot. And then at night we went to her side of the family, ate a lot there. Next day we went to my mom's side of the family, ate a lot there. Busy, but wow. good. Busy, busy, busy. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you had a good Chuseok. Mm-hmm. Did you see the moon, by the way? It was pretty it was, full. It was massive. Yeah, and it, it was, was like, yellow. It was. It was very, like, a banana, guys. It was mm-hmm. weird, but... I thought I was like, wow, it's a nice moon. How about you? How was your choose up? Uh, like, I didn't get to ho- go home because, I mean, we had like two, three days to rest, but I can't go to the States in like two, three days yeah, and come back. Right. So, no, I stayed in Korea. I just hung out with some friends mm-hmm. from like overseas and we just like ate together, had a few drinks. It was That's fun. good. That it sounds fun. like fun. fun. We just talked about our lives and stuff. It was interesting. Anyways, mm. guys, uh, let's move on. Let's get to our pop stars now. Can you give us your first bit of news, David? The Veronicas, the, Veronicas. the Aussie pop duo. I mean, they had their most, you know, they're most popular in Australia, but it's still around the world. They're very hot, and pretty much over the last like seven years, they've just been wandering, well, traveling, doing music, writing music, right. and now they put out a little teaser, mm. and it's called "You Ruin Me." Mm. And it's just like a little teaser with the song. You can't hear it completely clearly or the full length of it. Right. But you just see them kind of doing the photo shoot for the album like cover. Wow. And it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting. They yeah. started up in 1999, so it's been a while. It's wow. Been a while. It's yeah, been it's 1999. Been, yeah. And when was the last time they that was the last time they released anything? 7 years ago is when they were really big. <sighs> Seven it was a while years ago. ago. 2007. Yeah. Yo, what, what was I doing? Let's so see. let's see how their music has developed over time. And then also, like, it's interesting because they're in, like, ballet costumes. And oh. they're twins. Interesting. And they're now 29. Wow. Yeah. Because, <laughs> like, last time we saw them, they were, like, 20 what? Like, Three. one, two? Yeah. Like, and now they're 29? Wow. Yeah, they were, like, just beginning their 20s, and now they're, like, beginning their 30s. Yeah, that's, that's insane. That's insane. Time flies. You just don't feel it. That's true. Time does fly. It's crazy, guys. Uh, but yes, best of luck to the Veronicas and their new album. Check it out. Coming out this year. Yeah, if you guys are fans, check it out. And what is our next bit of news? Our next bit of news is MTV is there doing their own line of documentaries, Hmm. which I found was very interesting because they did one on Malcolm and Ryan Lewis, and supposedly it was pretty hot. Wow, people are really into it. So they think the next one is going to be focusing on Snoop Dogg or Snoop Lion, and. I think it was Demi Lovato. Yeah, it is. Snoop Lion and Demi Lovato. Yeah, they're focusing on those two. That's and cool. then after that, I heard like the lineups got like Linkin Park, Jennifer Hudson, T.I. Wow. So it'll be interesting. But I think you've made it when people want to see a documentary about you. Exactly. Yeah. That's when you know you made it big. Like, I know. People want to know about my life. <laughs> like, I started off as a three-year-old boy. And then like... <laughs> I, I was mean, born on like I know, and then that picture of black and white of your face comes out. So for we don't really have black and white photos. We were yeah, we grew color. up with the color. Yeah, yeah. But normally in the documentary, it starts with those black and white photos of like the artists when they're a child and they had real names. Right, of course. Mm. That's interesting. Demi Lovato and Snoop Lion. That's a weird combination, but I'm looking forward to Snoop Lions and, and Demi Lovato's, but. Mm. More soup lines. But. Yeah, because like, he's had his own like little different stories and things. He's been around for a while. Yeah. He's been the king for a while. So Did, didn't he change his name back to Snoop Dogg? Yeah, like, he's back. A while back? Yeah, yeah, he's back to Snoop Dogg. That, that Snoop Lion phase was just like a no-no. <laughs> that was strange. That was the whole like Jamaican leg of the trip. And, yeah. Like, 
meeting like Jamaican like priest or something. Yeah, and we're talking about that. Yeah, that was like already like a year ago, man. Yeah, we that was like a year ago. Yeah, yeah. So he already oh, had weird. that phase, and then he did his thing with Sai. And by the time he was doing with Sai, he was back to Snoop Dogg. And he's like, "Yo, I can't do the Jamaican thing anymore. <laughs> like, <laughs> that was I gotta go back to America. Like, it was it's America." So he came back. So looking forward to that documentary, guys. But yes, why don't we listen to two songs before we come back with more news? Here are "Untouched" by the Veronicas, and "Here Comes the King" by Snoop Lion. What up, everyone? You're listening to M.A. with me, Aaron of New East. We have David here in the studio for Weekly Pop Magazine. So let's talk about our third bit of news, David. Our third bit of news is Lady Gaga. Yeah. And so it's about New York Fashion Week because we can't ignore that. It went down and it was big. Right. And obviously, if it's New York Fashion Week, there's going to be a lot of like suit and tie events. Right, right. A lot of big names coming to these parties. Well, one of them had Lady Gaga singing songs from a new album with just like jazz songs. Wow, really? Which is interesting. So she was doing her jazz songs, but supposedly the crowd was pretty noisy. Like, they're all talking, doing their own thing, and she just got, like, annoyed. Wow. And so she was just, like, she told everybody to close their mouth <gasps> in the rough way. Did and she then, really? And then she was like, these beep, rich people. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. So then she stopped singing, and then, I don't know, she started up again, I guess. And it said, people said that when she hit those impressive high notes, people, like, quiet, you know, they got a little quiet. But I guess like, right, and you like want people annoying. to appreciate the art that you're making. You don't want them to just sit there and do their own thing. Exactly, like, touch their cell phones yeah. and like talk to other people around them. I mean, I could see why she would get annoyed, but I, I don't think she should have been like these beep. Like <laughs> that might have been the wrong way to put it, but yeah. I understand where she's coming from. So yeah, because that must be frustrating. It is. It's you're like singing, singing, singing your heart out, and people are just doing their own thing. That'd be distracting. Right. More than anything, I think I'd like be so distracted. Yeah, it's it's really distracting, yeah. People do that at, at your concerts? Uh, No, no, not at our concerts. Yeah, we haven't seen like, it. Oh, concerts are different. They actually paid their way in, and they're like... Right, they had they came yeah, to watch, but yeah. these people were just like just there for Yeah, if this fashion. is like an event, and then like she was invited, and they're all like very... Whatever. Rich like. and famous, and they got better things to do, I guess they could be more likely to chat it up. That's true. Plus, I they guess. had lots of big names in there, like Miguel was in there. So, I guess people want to talk to people, you know? Yeah, I mean, Network. yeah, like networking and stuff. Mm. I can see that. So, I mean, Lady Gaga, two thumbs up to you. That's like, that was very ballsy. <laughs> yeah, she was like, mm, that was very that's brave right. of you. Yeah. All right, next bit of news. What do we have? Well, let's stay on the new, sh- new York Fashion Week. New Got it all. <laughs> new sh- can make up a new name for it. New York Fashion Week news. It's got to be Nicki Minaj because she got back there with the models and started to teach them moves from her, you know, Anaconda music video. Oh, I no. haven't watched it, but I heard it was a little, you know, it was a little out there. Yeah. The sexy dancing, but she wanted to teach the models. So they legit learned it. If you go on her Instagram, you can see them. They got it down. Really? Yeah. So she got all these like skinny models, like doing her anaconda dance moves and I, I saw a little another Instagram message that went up from a big magazine and they're like there's an anaconda issue backstage wow Nicki Minaj has it under control no I, I, have you seen the dance no it's it's, it, uh, it's it's very sexy I guess you could say yeah yeah it's very um one way vulgar yeah a little vulgar but you know, if you're if you're young guys, don't watch the music video. Yeah, I don't watch it. I, I'm married. My wife would not approve. <laughs> would Would you get in trouble if you watched it like in front of your She'd wife? Be like, what? What are you? Even doing? when I was watching like the one where she's teaching the models, I was like, I turned on the music, and then they're like practicing, and then my wife's just like, I was what, like, What are you doing? Oh, this is I'm trying to you know write. Not never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, married life. Married yes. Life. Alrighty, guys, let's listen to some more music before we come back with our last bit of news. Here are applause by Lady Gaga and Pound the Alarm by Nicki Minaj. What up, everyone? You're listening to M.A. with me, Aaron of New East, getting all the updates on what our pop stars happened up to this week with David on Weekly Pop Magazine. So, David, what is our last bit of news for today? Our last bit of news is, if you haven't heard, Joanne Rivers has actually passed away. Really? Yeah, and she was 81. Wow. I was just like, whoa. It's hard to tell she was 81 because, you know, all the... Surgery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, this is weird, because just on my honeymoon, yeah, a few yeah. weeks ago, I was, like, watching videos of, like, her. Wow. And then I'm just like, what? She passed away? Yeah. And she's, like, actress, comedian, talk host. Yeah. TV show, you know. But, wow, she's gone. Yeah. So, if you think about the things that she said or did, some interesting things is she made a fun... She made fun of a lot of people. <laughs> she did. 
And she yeah. made a fun. She made fun of obviously a lot of singers. Right. And I mean, some of them are like pretty mean. Yeah. I mean, one was to Britney Spears. It said, "I can't wait for Britney Spears' career to be over so she can serve me coffee at Seven Eleven." Oh, that's pretty harsh. Yeah, and the one on Adele much harsher. Really? She was like, I met Adele and you think she'll be like, and she was just a lovely person. But <laughs> she said, I heard rolling in the deep, she should add fried chicken. Oh, I was yeah. Like, oh. I was like, that's funny though. <laughs> I was like, she's talented. But I get what you're getting at. Yeah. But they're so mean. Yeah. And then Mick Jagger, she said, could French kiss a moose? Oh. Yeah, moose, Lord. big lips. Yeah. Mick Jagger. Big lips. Bigly has big lips. Yeah, he does. I mean, but talented artist. Yeah, he's a talented artist. Yeah, so she left a legacy of um, interesting things interesting to remember thing. her by. You know. I mean, she said things that are tr- that kind of true. I mean, yeah, she did in like very vulgar ways. In a vulgar times. way, but it was still true. Yeah, <laughs> like, that's why, like, you'd hit, you'd, that's why I even watched that clip on YouTube because she was saying something about like something political. Yeah. And then she threw in another like singer in, under the bus. So it was interesting. Interesting, interesting. Yeah. Well, you know, rest in peace to right, her. for sure. She had a good career. I know, until 81? Wow. Yeah, that's, that's quite the career. So, yeah. you know, rest in peace to her. She's in a better place now. So, yes, I didn't even know about that, actually. Kind of shocked, right? Shocked a little bit, yeah. yeah. It's weird. Alrighty, guys, it's already time for us to say goodbye, David. Did you have fun today? I do, man. I always have fun here. Fun, fun, fun. Fun, fun, fun. Yes. Well, David... What do you have planned for the rest of the week? Any dates with your wife? Oh, or? snap. Today we're going to go down to Kwa Chan. I, that's where I was actually born. Really? Yeah, it's not too far from here, actually. It's like a couple stations down. Um, but going to go there, take a nice little walk, have something good to eat. Oh. Um, see my parents. They're leaving on Friday. Wow, wow, yeah. wow. Yeah. I hope you have fun. I will, today. I will. And guys, sending David out. Here is God Gave Me Everything by Mick Jagger and All About That Bass by Megan Trainer. Bye, David. See ya. What up, guys? We just came back from listening to God Gave Me Everything by Mick Jagger and All About That Bass by Megan Trainer. And guys, if you have any thoughts, requests, questions you want to let us know about, go to www.arirangradio.com slash musicaccess and go to our message board on the left and leave us your messages on the message board with the according title, you know, message, question, Aaron, whatever you guys want to leave it as, leave it and we will answer all of your questions and requests and I will read your comments on here. Alrighty guys, let's listen to two more songs before we move on. Here are 들었다 놨다 by Daybreak and 정말 고마워서 만든 노래 by 옥상 달빛. What up guys? We just came back from listening to 들었다 놨다 by Daybreak and 정말 고마워서 만든 노래 by 옥상 달빛. And guys, it is already time for us to wrap things up for today. Ooh. I know, guys. I know you're sad. I'm sad as well. I will see you guys tomorrow. Do not worry. Our last song for today is Holy Grail by Jay-Z featuring Justin Timberlake. And of course, same time, same place tomorrow, guys. I will see all of you there. Have an amazing Saturday. Peace. <laughs>